Okay, guys, welcome to this large revision video, okay, a key stage four question bank looking at angles, and it's from the White Rose Maths, okay, so it's a PowerPoint explicitly made by White Rose Maths, and it's appropriate revision for those of you that are doing your upcoming GCSE exams, whether it's the foundation tier or the higher tier, for papers one, two, and three, for the Edexcel AQA and OCR specification. It's also appropriate for the international exam boards, okay, and the world's exam boards, and yeah, any other appropriate exam board, okay, looking at GCSE level maths, okay. So, we're going to start with, yeah, like a series of questions, okay? Feel free to obviously pause the video, have a go at the questions, okay? Try the question or questions, attempt the question, okay? Come back, press play, check your answer or answers with me, and take any appropriate notes on your notepad, your iPad, your phone, whatever it is that you take your notes on, okay? And dip in and out of this video, okay, as and when you need to, okay? So... This is the first question. Four angles are shown. State which angle is obtuse. So obtuse means it's greater than 90 degrees. Okay. But smaller than 180 degrees. Okay. That's the definition of obtuse. Okay. So greater than 90 or less than 180 degrees. Okay. So that will be option C, okay? Option A is what I call a right angle. Option B is what I call an acute angle. Option C is what I call an obtuse angle. And option D is what I call a reflex angle, okay? So again, make sure that you're happy with the names of these types of angles, okay? Particularly for the foundation tier, GCSE maths, okay? And key stage three maths. So option C. Okay, this is question number two. AB is a straight line. Okay, work out the size angle marked Y. Okay, diagram not drawn accurately. So angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if I, if I do 180, take away 135, that will tell me the angle of Y, guys. Okay, sorry about my handwriting in this video. I, I apologise about the jerkiness, but hopefully you can forgive me. Okay, zero take away five I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a seven. That goes to a, a one now, so I'm, I've now got ten take away five, which is five. Seven take away three is four, and one take away one, which is going to be zero. So y is equal to 45 degrees, because angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so that's another angle fact that you need to learn and remember, okay, because they will ask, okay, this sort of question, particularly on a foundation pa tier paper, but it's also appropriate knowledge for higher tier as well. Okay, do you see my there you go. Okay, this is the next question. AB is a straight line. Work out the size of angle marked A. Well, this is what I call a right angle. So, right angle is actually 90 degrees. Okay. So, AB is perpendicular to this line here. Okay. It meets what we call a right angle. So, A will be 180 Take away 90, take away 35. Well, 180, take away 90 is going to be 90. So I've got 90, take away 35. Okay. And again, you, you are welcome to obviously do it in your head, but there's no harm in showing your full workings to get your answer. So 0, take away 5, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to an 8. That now becomes a 10. So 10, take away 5 is 5. And 8 take away 3 is 5. So the angle marked A is equal to 55 degrees, guys. Okay. And again, guys, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay. That's the key part to remember. There we go. Answer for that. Okay. This next question, AB is a straight line. Work out the size of angle marked X. Okay, so slightly more challenging. So now I've got 180 take away 123.8. So again, I'm, uh, I'm going to write it like a full decimal. So I'm, I'm going to write it as 180.0 take away 123.8. 
Again, you can do this obviously in your head or using the calculator, but I'm trying to obviously show my full workings. So where possible, I want to avoid using the calculator. But of course, if it appears on a calculator paper, then please don't spend time obviously working out when you can do it on a calculator, okay? Zero take away eight, I can't do. So I have to borrow off the, off the next number, that's a zero. So that's going to have to be a seven. So I'm going to borrow off this one. That goes to a 10, borrow off that. That goes to a 9. That now becomes a 10. 10 take away 8 is 2. 9 take away 3 is 6. 7 take away 2 is 5. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So the angle marked X guide, reading it from left to right, is 56.2. Okay, so X is equal to 56.2 degrees okay because angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees okay white rose maths answer that okay this next one the diagram shows three angles around the point okay diagram not drawn accurately work out the size of angle marked x well angles around the point add up to 360 degrees okay so another angle fact okay so if i do 112 plus 39 and then i'm going to take that away from 360 2 plus 9 is going to be 11 so 1 carry the 1 1 plus 3 is 4 plus the 1 is going to be 5 and then i'm going to have a 1 there i'm now going to do 360 take away 151 again i can do this here multiple different ways okay I can subtract 150 and then subtract the 1. That, that, that will also work. Okay. 0 take 1 I can't do. So I need to borrow. That goes to a 5. That goes to a 1. Sorry. Yeah, it, should be like a, it should be a 1 there. Not a squiggly line. So now I've got 10 take away 1 which goes to 9. 5 take away 5 which goes to 0. And 3 take away 2. 1 which is 2. Sorry. So the angle marked X is 209 degrees, okay? And that's the value of X, okay? Because angles around the point add up to 360 degrees. Okay, there we go. This next one, okay, again, angles around a point. Work out the size of angle marked X. That's 90 degrees, okay? So remember, if you, if you ever see that, okay, think of right angle, Okay, 110 plus 90 is 200. 200 plus 160 makes 360. So X is equal to 160. Okay. Because if you add up all three numbers, you will get 160. Okay, I did it that one in my head. Okay, to make it a bit easier. 110 plus 90 is 200. What do I add to 200 to get 360? I'm going to add 160. So that's my angle for X. There we go. This next one, A, B, and B, C are perpendicular. Work out the size of angle marked A. So this is what I call a right angle altogether. So that has to equal 90, which means that A plus 72 has to equal 90. Okay, so from my equation here, A plus 72 has to equal to 90. If I subtract 72 on both sides to balance the equation respectively on both sides, okay? So whatever I do to one side, I must do the same to the other side. Okay, remember that when you're solving equations, okay, you're always balancing the scales, okay? Balancing each side. A is equal to 18 degrees. Okay, little dot there for degrees, sorry. A little circle for degrees. There we go. Here is a triangle. Work out the size of angle marked X. Okay, it's giving you the answer there. I apologize. Okay, but angles in a triangle add up to 180. So it's 65. Okay, let's just try that again. So 65 plus 72. Okay, so 5 plus 2 is 7, and 6 plus 7 is going to equal to 13. So 180, take away 143, sorry, 137. Okay. 
Zero take away seven, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a seven. That now becomes a ten. Ten take away seven goes to three. Seven take away three is four. And one take away one is going to be zero. So X is equal to 43 degrees, okay, or as stated by the White Rose Maths answer. Okay, this next one, work out the value of, uh, work out this, sorry, here, here is a triangle, work out the size of angle marked X, again, angles in a triangle add up to 180, that's a right angle, so that's going to equal to 90, okay, 90 plus 42, okay, gives me 132, and then take that away from 180, okay, and you will get 48, okay, when you work that out. So, X is equal to 48 degrees. Okay. But, here we go. This next one here is an isosceles triangle, okay. The key part to remember about this is that these two sides are equal, therefore these two angles are going to be equal. So this one and this one are going to be equal. Work out the size of angle marked X. Well, if that's 52, that has to be 52. Add them together and then take away from 180 to work out what X is. You get 104 when you add them together. Okay, I can just double check it quickly. Okay, for those of you that always want to check your answers, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Okay, take that away from 180. Okay, well, 180 take away 100 is 80. Take away 4 goes to 76. So, X is equal to 76 degrees. Okay, and again, I, I, I could have obviously done it by column subtraction. Okay, but but I'm trying to obviously yeah, um, do a bit of yeah, mental arithmetic practice as well, okay, in this video. Okay, but again, there's no harm in doing a column subtraction, okay, and I, I would actually encourage that in the exam, okay, or in your tests or assessments. There we go. Okay, next question, here is an isosceles triangle. Okay, work out the size of angle marked Y. Well, if that angle is equal to Y, that angle is equal to Y because they're corresponding, okay, that, and that side and that side are equal. So I'm going to have Y plus Y plus 38 equals 180. So I'm going to have two lots of Y plus 38 is equal to 180 because y plus y gives me 2y so that's where the 2y has come from okay solving the equation subtract 38 on both sides and then divide through by 2 okay so we get 2y is equal to so 180 take away 40 is 140 and then add 2 you get 142 divide it by 2 to work out what y is so divide both sides by 2 to get what y is so we get that y is equal to 71 degrees okay and 71 plus 71 plus 38 108 there we go Okay, this next one, ABC is a straight line. Work out the size of angle marked X. So, the first step is work out this angle because angles on a straight line add up to 180. So, 180 take away 124. That will give me 56. And I'll work it out. Okay, to work out X, I'm going to do 180 take away 71 take away 56. So, let's just work out what 56 plus 71 is. Okay, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7, and 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So 2 carry the 1, and then it's going to go there. So it's 127. So 180 take away 127. Well, 180 take away 130 is going to be 50, and then add on the 3, you're going to get 53 degrees. Okay, so there are little tricks, okay, about taking away a number. Okay. Yeah, like that, okay? So, you can take away 130 and then add 3. That's the same as taking away 127, okay? This next one, okay, slightly more challenging. Work out the size of angle marked X. Again, we'll label this as Y, let's say, and this as Y because it is an isosceles triangle, okay, because we've got two lines there. 
To work out why, I would do 180, take away 107. So 0, take away 7, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a 7. That now becomes a 10. 10 take away 7 is 3. 7 take away 0 is going to be 7. And 1 take away 1 is going to be 0. So that's going to equal to 73 degrees. Okay. That's also going to equal to 73 degrees. Because it's what I call an isosceles triangle. And then X will equal to 180 take away 73. Take away 73. Well, double of 73 is, is going to be 146. So you're going to have 180 take away 146. Again, I can do it multiple different ways. Okay, I can take off 150 and then add 4. Okay, so that will be 180 take away 150 will go to 30. And then plus the 4 will be 34 degrees. Okay, but working it out here to double check. That goes to a 7, that now becomes a 10. 10 take away 6 is 4, 7 take away 4 is 3, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So x is equal to 34 degrees. Okay, there we go. This next one, okay, is slightly more challenging. And again, this sort of question is likely to appear on the end of a foundation tier, okay, or higher tier paper. Okay, ABC and ABD are triangles. ADC is a straight line. Work out the size of angle ABD. Okay, so th th this was a bit more tricky. We've got to take our time. Well, I can work out the remaining angle here because angles on a straight line add, add up to 180. So if I do 36 plus 48, so 6 plus 8 is 14. So 4 carry the 1. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus the 1 is going to go to 8. Okay, take that away from 180, and you're going to get, so take off 100, and then add 16, so you'll, you'll get the answer of 96 there, okay, okay, because angles on a, uh, in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, okay, so 96 is sorry, excuse, so 96 came from 180, take away 84, guys, okay, sorry if I confused you actually there for a minute, I took away 100 actually, and then added 16. Okay, that's the same as taking away 84. If you work it out, that goes to a 7. That goes to a 1. 10 take away 4 is going to be 6. 7 take away 8, I can't do it. So I need to borrow the, of the 1. That becomes a 0. That becomes 17. That goes to 96. To work out this angle, this angle, okay, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So that's going to equal to um, 84. That's also going to equal 84 because ABD is an isosceles triangle. By the definition of these two lines, AB and BD are equal. Therefore, the corresponding angles are equal. Okay, to work out angle ABD, which is what it's asking for, is 180 take away 168. Okay, 0 take away 8, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a 7, that goes to a 1. 10 take away 8 is 2. 7 take away 6 is 1. And then 1 take away 1 is 0. So your answer to this question, your final answer, angle ABD is equal to 12 degrees, guys. And that's the answer to that question. Okay. There we go, okay, and that's the symbol in mathematics for the word angle, okay, so if, if you ever see that little line, it just means the word angle, okay. Okay, again, a slightly more challenging example, and this is where we're starting looking at the crossover topics between higher and foundation, okay, so this, this is likely to appear on a higher tier paper. Okay, so here is an uh, uh, equal to triangle and an isosceles triangle which sh both share a common sign, okay, for this. I cut the size of angle marked X. Okay, so this is isosceles, so 
And yeah, we we'll start with Hiroshi. So if it's equal to triangle, each angle will be equal to 180 divided by 3 will give me 60 degrees. Okay, because the definition of an equilateral triangle is that all the sides and all the angles are equal. Okay, for that, okay, this next one, well, that's an isosceles. So if I do 180, take away 36, and then divide it by 2. Zero take away six. I can't do it. So I need to borrow, okay, or exchange. That becomes a seven. That now becomes a ten. Okay, I'm carrying the ten over. Ten take away six is four. Seven take away three is four, and I'm gonna drop down the one. Okay, a half of this goes to seventy-two. Okay, so we're almost there now. To work out the size of angle marked X, well, angles around the point add up to three sixty. Okay, so if I do 360, take away 60, take away 72, that will give me what X is. Okay, 360, take away 60 is going to be 300. So if I do 300, take away 72, so that's slightly more easier to do. Okay, so that will be 228. Okay, so X is equal to 228. That, okay, should be an 8 there, just to be clear, sorry. Should be an 8 there. There we go. Okay, so that's how we tackle that sort of problem. Okay, and again, please make sure yeah, that, that you obviously practice these questions because I've seen these appear. Sorry. <coughs> sorry, guys. I've seen these appear on, on, like, on like the end of like a foundation tier and the start of a higher tier paper. Okay, so they are quite common questions. There's your answer. Okay, a quadrilateral now. Okay, so here, here is a quadrilateral. Work out the size of angle marked A. So that's a right angle that has to equal to 90. So again, another angle fact, guys. So obviously, if you to obviously copy down and write down, angles in a quadrilateral, i.e., angles in a four sided shape, must always add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so another angle fact there. So 124 plus 77. Okay plus the 90 okay so we're getting there today guys okay i appreciate it. it is quite like a longest video today but thank you for like being like patient with me so far okay so four plus seven is going to be 11 plus the one is going to be plus zero is going to be 11 okay so one carry the one nine plus one is 10 17 18 19 so nine carry the one one plus one is two okay if i now do 360 degrees take away 291 that will give me that angle marked a and again i can do this yeah multitude of different ways okay so zero take away one i can't do so i need to borrow of that that becomes a five that now becomes a ten ten take away one goes to nine five take away nine i can't do so i need to borrow that goes to a two that goes to a fifteen fifteen take away nine is six and two take away two is zero okay so a is equal to the number sixty nine for that okay there we go. This next question, A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. A, D, E is a straight line. Work out the size of angle B, C, D. So read it carefully. So B, C, D. So it's this angle that we want. Well, if I work out this angle here, I know the angles on the straight line add up to 180. So 180 take away 127. Okay, zero take away seven, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a seven, that goes to a one. Ten take away seven is three, and seven take away two is five. One take away one is zero. So that angle there goes to 53. Okay, and then to work out our final answer, we're going to add up those three angles in the four-sided shape and take it away from 360 to work out angle B, C, D. Okay, which is this one here. Okay. So again, this is all good practice. 82 plus 77 
plus 53. Okay. I don't mind you yeah, using that like, calculator yeah, for these sort of questions, yeah, okay. But again, yeah, it's, it's, it's always a good habit to practice. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus the 2 is going to be 12. So 2 carry the 1. 8 plus 7 is 15, 20, 21. Okay, take it away from 360. That will give us our final answer. Okay, so working this out, okay. So zero take away two, I can't do. So I need to borrow. That goes to a five. That now becomes a ten. Ten take away two is eight. Five take away one is four. And three take away two is one. So your final answer, angle B, C, D, okay, is equal to 148 degrees. Okay. There we go. Okay, this next one, here is a parallelogram. Okay, for part A, work out the size of angle marked X. Okay, so this is where you are. I'm going to be careful actually. So, the opposite sides, okay, are equal actually. But can I just double, yeah, I'll just double check that, yeah, to make sure that, that I'm on that, the right lines. Okay, but essentially, okay, these are what are called co angles here. So, this plus this has to equal to 180. So if I do 180, okay, take away 65. Okay, zero take away five, I can't do, so I need to borrow. So that becomes a seven, that becomes a 10. 10 take away five is gonna be five. And seven take away six is equal to one. I've got the one there. So the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal, okay, so A is equal to 65 degrees, okay, because that's the property of a parallelogram, so opposite angles are equal, okay, don't be mistaken by a cyclic quadrature here, because that's a separate, um, yeah, topic, okay, but opposite angles in a parallelogram, okay, are equal, okay, because you have two sets of parallel sides, okay, and B is equal to 115, okay, and this section, so this part here, is what I call coterior, so if you've got an angle here and an angle here, they have to add up to 180 degrees, okay, and the whole shape adds up to 360, because angles in a quadrilateral, okay, for the sided shape, add up to 360, so that is the correct answer. There we go. Okay, this next question, A, B, and C, D are parallel lines. So state the angle, uh, state the size of the angle marked X. So X actually is 127 degrees because it's what I call a corresponding angle. Again, and again, these are key words that you must remember, okay? So it's what I call a corresponding angle, okay? So this only works if I have an intersection with two parallel lines, okay? So a line that intersects two parallel lines, okay? So angle marked X, okay? For that, okay? For that one there, okay? And then from there, you can work out the other angles, okay? From there. There we go, because the by the angles are equal. Okay, this next question, A, B, and C, D are parallel lines. Work out this angle, angle marked Y. Well, there's one of two ways I can do this, okay? The first way is that this is what I call a coterior angle, okay? This angle plus this angle has to equal 180. So if I do 180, take away 76, that will give me the angle of Y, Okay? So the word here is coterior, okay, and again, yeah, you, 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 may, you may not have heard of it actually, but feel free to obviously research that word, okay, but it looks something like this, okay, if you have like this sort of shape, this angle and this angle, okay, have to add up to 180 degrees, okay, 0 take away 6, I can't do so I need to borrow, that goes to a 7, that becomes a 1, 10 take away 6 is 4, 7 take away 7 is going to be 0, and then drops down the 1. So y is equal to 104 degrees, okay? And if it asks for an, a reason why or a justification, you say that 
yeah, they are what we call coterior angles, which means that coterior angles have to add up to 180 degrees, okay? So those two angles, okay, if I label that as A and that as B, A plus B has to equal 180, okay? That's for coterior angles, okay? And again, another way of doing it is recognising that if I work out this angle, because angles in a straight line, yeah, add up to 180, that'll equal to 104. And then I can say, okay, well, corresponding angles are equal, so therefore, angle Y must be 104, okay? That's another way to get your answer, okay? There are multiple different ways to work out your answer. There we go. There's a whereas math term. Okay, this next question, A, B, and C, D are parallel lines. Okay, work out the size of angle marked X. Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to work out this angle here. Okay, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if I do 180, take away 65. Okay, 0 take away 5 I can't do, so I need to borrow, that goes to a 7, that now becomes a 10, 10 take away 5 is 5, 7 take away 6 is 1, and then 1 drops down. Okay, that's going to be 115 degrees. Now, another rule guys, this is what I call, so this Z shaped here, is what I call alternate angles. So X is equal to 115 degrees, and it's what I call, okay, alternate angles okay we used to allow on the old exam board saying yeah z shaped angles but it's now yet yeah, referred to as alternate angles okay so another key fact there okay so you've got alternate angles and, and you've also got corresponding angles okay so again make sure that you're happy with those and if, if yeah if, if you're a bit unsure then please do us here yeah, practice some questions here yeah, from the maths genie website or the maths watch pdf okay link or the corbett maths key okay, website okay there is, there is loads out there yeah to practice corresponding and alternate Okay, they're what, what we call alternate angles, okay? So in the exam, do not write Z angles, okay? Or Z-shaped angles, okay? Although that is correct, yeah, the actual word actually, yeah, is what we call alternate angles. Okay. okay so we got another way of doing that. Okay, this next one, okay, sorry that the answer's there actually are. Okay. I'll come on to that. Okay, so A, B, and C, D are parallel sides. Okay, work out the size of angle marked X. Okay, so this, this was a bit more challenging. Okay, so angles and straight actually add up to 180, so I can work out the angle there, can't I? Okay, so that'll be equal to 65 degrees. Okay, I've got like a four sided shape here, so I'm going to be very, very, very careful. Okay, now. Here, okay, because I've got, okay, I've got to be careful actually on how I actually phrase this. So, we want to work out angle marked X. So, we, we want to work out this angle, we want to work out this angle. Now, that's a straight line, so that'll be equal to 180. Okay, this whole angle here. Okay, because it's a straight line. Okay. Are we able to work out any other angles? Well, so yeah. Okay, so this one, yeah, it's a bit more challenging. So I've got, I've got to take my time here. So, we want to work out angle mark to X, okay? For this. Okay, now that's 115 actually, so I can work out this angle here, okay, because they're what I call coterior angles, so that will equal to 65 as well, okay, or yeah, or yeah, it's what I call alternate angles, so that will equal to 65 degrees, which means that this angle will equal to 115, okay, because it's a straight line, and now I can work out what this angle is. Or well, 34 plus 
So 4 plus 5 goes to 9. 3 plus 4, 1 is 4. Then you've got the 1. Okay. So that will be 149. Okay. So this angle here will be um, 20, sorry, 31 degrees. Um, angles in a straight line add up to 180. So X will equal to 180, take away 31 okay which gives you the answer of 149 okay which is what it says there okay apologies yeah that the answer came up here before i even answered the question so i apologize for that okay but hopefully yeah you managed to actually follow me for that question okay for that okay for that Okay, this next one, again, yeah, it's more challenged here, so it's more higher tier questions, these questions. Okay, A, B, C, D, and E, F are parallel lines. Work out the size of angle B, A, C. So, B, A, C. So, we want this angle here. Give reasons for each stage of your workings. Okay, so first of all, okay, again, I've got what I call a coterior angle. So, if that angle here... Okay, is going to equal to 108. Okay, because they're what we call so EC. Okay, or E plus C angle E plus this angle here has to equal to 180. It's what we call coteria. Okay, then to work out this angle here, angles around a point add up to 360. So if I do 138. Plus 108. So 8 plus 8 is going to be 16. So 6 carry the 1. 3 plus 0 plus 1 is going to be 4. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. So take that away from 360. Okay. And again, I can do this here in multiple different ways. Okay. Sorry about my handwriting, guys. I apologise here if any bit is not readable. Okay, zero take away six, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a five. That now becomes a ten. Ten take away six goes to four. Five take away four is one, and three take away two is one. So this angle here will now become 114 degrees. This last part, okay, these are what are called coteria. Okay, so 180 take away 114 will give us the answer that we need. Okay, that will answer the answer to the question. Take away 114. If you take off 110, that will be 70. Take away 4, then you're going to get the answer of 66. So the angle marked BAC is 66 degrees. Okay, that's the answer for that question. There we go. Okay. So as long as you are giving, okay, full reasoning for each part of the answer, then that's all good, guys. Right, now looking at a pentagon. Okay, so here is a regular pentagon. Dark, I'm not drawn accurately. Work out the size of angle marked M. So the formula for the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, so S is equal to 180 multiplied by N minus 2, where N is the number of sides of the shape I have. Okay, so a pentagon has five sides. Okay, so if I sub in n equals 5, 5 take away 2 is 3, 180 times 3 is 540, guys, when you work it out. Okay, because double it is 360, and then add on 360 to 180, and you get the answer of 540. Now, that works out all of the angles. We want one angle, so we're going to divide it by 5. So again, using our bus stop method to work out this answer, 540 divided by 5. Well, 5s into 5 go once with 0 left over. 5s into 4 don't go in, okay, with 4 left over. And then 5s into 40 go 8 times. So the angle marked M is equal to 108 degrees. Okay, that's the answer for that question. Okay, and again, make sure that you're happy and that you, oops, sorry, that you learn the formula for some, yeah, um, of interior angles of a regular size polygon is 180 lots of n minus 2, where n is the number of sides of a shape.
There we go. Okay, this next one here is a regular hexagon. Okay, work out the size of angle. Sorry, ABC is a straight line. Work out the size of angle marked X. Again, a hexagon has six sides, so I'm going to sub it into the formula and work out the size of each interior angle and then take away from 180 to work out what X is. So the formula is 180 oops, so 180 okay, brackets 6 minus 2, so 6 minus 2 goes to 4, 180 lots of 4, so double it and then double it again, so that's going to give you 720 degrees, which is the sum of the interior angles of a regular hexagon, okay, the key part to remember here is that this formula is explicitly only for regular sized polygons, a polygon is a three-sided shape or more, so a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a pentagon, a hexagon, etc, etc, an octagon, a decagon, okay, so on and so forth, okay, 720 divided by 6, hopefully you're happy with that, so 6 and 7 go once with 1 left over, 6 and 12 go twice with 0 left over, 6 and 0 go 0 times, okay, so each interior angle of a hexagon is 120 to work out the size of angle marked x you would do 180 take away 120 which goes to 60 degrees okay so the answer to the question is x is equal to 60 degrees Okay, there we go. Okay, here is a pentagon. Work out the size of angle marked X. So again, a pentagon, remember, adds up to 540 degrees. Okay, so adding up all of our angles and then taking away from 540. Remember, that that's a right angle. So that's 90. Okay, and that's also 90. Okay, so that'll be 180, 280, 280 plus 135. Well, 280 plus 100 is going to be 380. 380 plus 35, 390, 400, 410, 415. So if I take away 415, that will give me the value of X. Again, apologies, yeah, I've done it in my head, actually, but you can obviously work it out. Zero take away five, I can't do, so I need to borrow. Okay. That goes to 3, that goes to a 10. 10 take away 5 is going to be 5. 3 take away 1 is 2. And 5 take away 4 is 2. Okay, so that answer is 125 degrees. Okay, there we go. Okay, this next one. A regular polygon has an exterior angle of 15 degrees. Work out how many sides. So the other formula here, you have to remember, is that the exterior angle of a polygon, so I'll label it as EXT for exterior. Okay, I'll label it, yeah, I'll write it as exterior, actually in full, but I'll, I'll write it as EXT in the future. Is 360 divided by the number of sides of a polygon. So the exterior angle, okay, is 360 over n. So if I have 15 is equal to 360 over n, okay, if I, if I, if I rearrange this equation, okay, to make n the subject, so multiply by n and then divide through by 15, okay, or just swap these around, we get that n is equal to 360 divided by 15, okay, on that. Okay, so 360 divided by 30 is 12. So if you double your answer, you'll get 24. Okay, so it's a 24-sided shape. Okay. And again, I don't actually know, know the name of that actually, but it's a 24-sided shape. Okay. For that. 24 sides. Okay, this next one, again, it's more of a higher tier question. Here is a regular hexagon and a regular octagon. The hexagon and the octagon share a common side. Okay, work out the size of angle marked X. Well, if you remember from before, each angle in a regular hexagon is 108 degrees. Okay, so remember that from the previous slide, otherwise you can work it out again. Okay, an octagon has eight sides. So to work out each angle, it'll be 180 brackets, 8 minus 2, which is going to be 6, okay, so working this out, okay, 
you you will get the answer of a thousand and eighty okay degrees and divide that by eight and that will tell you the size of each interior angle in my octagon okay so taking our time this year and being very careful eight into one i cannot do eight into ten go once with two left over eight to 28 go three times it's 24 it's gonna be four left over eight into 40 go five times so this angle here will be 135 okay adding those together and then taking away from 360 to work out what x is because angles around the point add up to 360 so you're going to have 200 and i believe 43 oh sorry for the, not the x sorry 360 minus 243 apologies for that so 243 has come from adding these two numbers together and again, double check here and correct me if I made a mistake at any point. Okay, so take away 240 and then take away 3. Well, 240, that would be 120. And that would be 117. So X is equal to 117. Okay, let's just double check that, guys. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll double check that on my calculator just to make sure yeah, that, that we are on the right um, side. Okay, so 180 times... 6, okay, to, to double check that, 1080, and then divide that by 835, plus 180 is 243, x 117, okay, so the, the right answer here is actually incorrect, okay, this one here is the incorrect answer, the correct answer should be 117 degrees, okay, for that. Okay, another question, okay, looking at pentagons, okay, angles in a pentagon, okay, add up to 540, but this next one, yeah, has got a bit of ratio here, the ratio of the size of angle ABC to the angle EAB, so ABC, okay, to EAB is in the ratio 1 to 2, work out the size of angle EAB, so what that means is, is whatever ABC is, okay, so we'll label that as X, EAB will be twice that, so it'll be two lots of x. I can now form an equation that links it. So I'm going to have 3x, okay, plus, well, that's going to equal to 90, okay. So working this out, okay, on my calculator, I'm going to do 126 plus 141 plus 90, so I get 357 has to equal to 540, okay, rearrange this by subtracting 357 on both sides, and then dividing through by 3, okay, so, minus 357, divide by 3, is 183 divide that by 3 we get that x is equal to 61 now the question is asking for angle eab okay so it's two lots of that because it's 2x okay so angle eab okay is two, is equal to 2x which is two lots of 61 which is equal to 122 degrees for that okay okay so make sure yeah, that you're happy with also ratios okay involved okay and again these are very common questions okay ratios are becoming a big part of the gcse quick okay it is involved yeah, in circle theorems um in yeah in um equations of yeah like lines okay in intersections okay it's, it's also involved yeah, in, in a bit of actually trigonometry okay? there are so many yeah like ratios yeah so ratios yeah is, is a big part of okay it, it's also involved in vectors quite a lot there we go. Okay, so double Okay, is that. Right, this one. Okay, it's a bit more nastier question, this one. Here is a regular pentagon inside a regular octagon. Okay, work out the size of angle marked X. Okay, so the key here to note is this whole angle is the angle of each individual 
um, angle in a regular octagon. Well, the angle in, in what I call a pentagon, hopefully you're happy, that's equal to 72, okay, degrees, okay, 540, which is the sum of a pentagon divided by 5, is 72, okay, for an octagon, so we got 180 brackets, 8 minus 2, okay, hopefully you remember that, yeah, from the, from the previous slide, so you get 180 times 6, which goes to 1080, okay, and if you divide that by 8, okay, You get 135. Okay, I, yeah, I worked it out before. If you divide it Okay, so if the whole angle, so if all of this is 135, then X will equal to 135 take away 72. And again, this is where we'll start looking at some problem-solving questions. 5 take away 2 is 3. 3 take away 7, I can't do, so I need to borrow. That goes to a 0, that goes to a 1. 13 take away 7 goes to 6. So X is equal to 63 degrees, okay? For that, okay? For that question there. Okay, because the regular octagon, okay, let's just double check here to make sure, okay, I think there's a mistake here on the white rose maths answer again, yep, so take away 72, yep, so x is equal to 63, okay, because the whole of the angle has, has, to, has to add up to 135, which is the size of each interior angle in an octagon, Okay, a pentagon has five sides. Each angle of a pentagon, in a regular pentagon, it will be 72 degrees. So there's a mistake there, okay? This next one, AB, okay, is a straight line. Okay, you work out the size of angle X. So adding it together, I'm going to have 7X plus 3X has to equal to 180. So we're forming and solving an equation, this topic. Okay, involving algebra. That goes to 10x when I collect like terms. Okay, divide through each side by 10 to work out what x is. Okay, we get that x is equal to 18. Okay, x is equal to 18 degrees. Remember, angles in a straight line must always add up to 180 degrees. Okay, there we go. This next one, again, we've got some algebra now. So we're going to have 2x plus x plus 48 plus 90 has to equal 360. So we're going to have 3x plus 138 has to equal to 360, okay? So just to be clear, so, so left-hand side has come from 2x plus x plus 48 plus 90, has to equal to 360. Okay, so I'll form my equation. 2x plus 1x equals 3x. Okay, think of that as 1x. 2x plus 1x is 3x. 90 plus 48 is 138. Rearrange this. So subtract 138 on both sides of my equation to balance it respectively and then divide through by the 3, okay, to get x by itself. Okay, so working this out quickly, so we're going to get 5 there, that would be 10, 10 take away 8 is going to be 2, 5 take away 3 is going to be 2, and 3 take away 1 is 2. So x equal to 222, divide both sides by the 3 to get x by itself, okay, and I believe we get, well 3 to 2 I can't do, 3 to 22 goes 7 times with 1 left over, Okay, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So x is equal to 74 degrees. Okay, there we go. Okay, this next one again, a bit more algebra. Okay, so angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So 2x plus 2x is 4x plus the 1x goes to 5x. So 5x 
plus the 10 has to equal 180. So rearranging this equation, so subtracting 10 from both sides and then dividing through by the 5, we get that 5x is equal to 170 divided through by 5. Now a little trick in maths, dividing by 5 is the same as dividing by 10 and then doubling your answer. So divide that by 10, you get 17, double your answer, you get 34. Okay, a little trick there for dividing by 5. So x is equal to 34 degrees, guys. Okay, about. Okay, this next one, again, we've got some more algebra. Okay, these are what, so A, B, and C, they are parallel lines. Work out the value of X. So they're, they're what are called corresponding angles. Therefore, they're equal. So 3X plus 50 is equal to 2X plus 70. Okay. If I subtract the 2X on both sides, okay, to get all the X's on one side, okay, so 3x take away 2x just goes to 1x, or just x. x plus 50 is equal to 70. Rearrange this by subtracting 50 on both sides. Okay, we get that x is equal to 70. Take away the 50, which is equal to 20, guys. So x is equal to 20 degrees. Okay, that's my answer for that, okay? So make sure that you're happy with forming and solving you know, what we call one, two, or three-step equations, okay? linear equations, okay? Okay, this next one, okay, A, B, and C, D are parallel lines. Work out the value of M. So th these are what are called coterior angles. So these two added together must equal 180. 3M plus M goes to 4M, okay? 55 take away 15 goes to 40. That has to equal to 180. If we subtract 40 on both sides and then divide through by the 4, we get that 4m is equal to 140. Divide through by the 40. Sorry, by the 4, sorry, I apologise. So half it and then half it again. We need to divide by 4. Okay, a little trick there. Okay. So divide both sides by 4. Half of 140 is 70. Half of 70 is going to be 35. So M is equal to 35 degrees. Okay. For that. Okay, here we go. Okay, this next one. Okay, sorry, the, the answers are already on there. Actually, I apologise. Okay. So. Angles. Uh, sorry, yeah. So I saw this triangle. Actually. So that means. So here, here is the isosceles triangle. Work out the value of x, work out the value of y. So these two angles are going to be equal. So you're going to have 5x is equal to 3x plus 26. Okay. Rearrange this by subtracting 3x on both sides. To balance the equation, we get 2x is equal to 26. Divide through both sides by the 2. We get that x is equal to 13. Okay, if x is 13, then I'm going to sub it in to work out what y is. 3 out of 13 is going to be 39. 39 plus 26, I believe is 65. Yeah, it is, yep, 65. That will also equal to 65. 65 plus 65 is 130, and 180 take away 130 will give you the value of y so that will equal to 50 degrees okay and there your answer is okay so it confirms our answer for that question okay so a little tick there and a little tick there okay this next one okay slightly more challenging okay work out the values of x and y okay so first of all so that's going to equal to 40 Okay, now this angle and this angle are going to be equal because they're, they're what I call alternate angles. Okay, this angle here will equal to 140. Or oh, is that right? Let's just double check. Uh, so that... So that will equal to 70, 
Okay, so I've got 2x plus y plus 70 has to equal 180. Okay, so I'm forming yeah, a pair of simultaneous equations because I've got two variables here. So I get 2x plus the y is equal to 110. And from this equation here, because they're vertically opposite angles, I'm going to have 3x plus y has to equal to 140 degrees. Okay, So I'm forming okay, a pair of simultaneous equations. So label that as number one, label that as number two. So I do equation two, take away equation one. Okay, Remember that I'm taking away here, so being very careful. So 3x take away 2x goes to x, y take away y goes to 0, and 140 take away 110 is going to equal to 30. So x is equal to 30. If x equals 30, so 2, two lots of 30 is going to be 60. 60 plus 50 gives you 110. So x is equal to 30, and y is equal to 50 degrees. For that, okay, so I've formed and solved a pair of simultaneous equations. Okay, there we go. Okay, so last few questions, guys. Yeah, so we're nearly there actually for the end of today's video. Okay, so thank you, yeah, for obviously bearing with me on this longest video. Okay, so A, B, and C, D are parallel sides. Okay, work out the sides of angle. So work, work out the values of A and B. Okay, so this small triangle here, well, that'll be 65. So 65 plus 115 gives you 180. Okay, that will have to equal to 140. And that will equal to 65. And again, I can form a pair of simultaneous equations. I'm going to have 3a plus the b plus 65 equals 180. So if I just rearrange that, that would be 180 take away 65 and then for this other one i'm going to have a plus b plus 140 equals 180 so if i just rewrite it as 180 take away 140 then we're going to get a pair of simultaneous equations so 180 take away 40 that will just equal to 40 so that can just go to the number 40 180 take away 65 is 115 it's going to equal to 115 and again okay solve this so label that as one and that is equation two so if i do one take away two okay i'm going to have 2a okay 3a take away a goes to 2a can you think of that as 1a b take away b goes to zero and then this i'm going to have that as 75 Divide both sides by the 2, we get that A is equal to 75 halves, okay, or 37.5, okay. I'll leave it, yeah, as like an improper fraction here to make it a bit more easier for me to deal with. Okay, so if I sum back into equation 1, yeah, I get 37.5, okay, 40 take away 37.5 goes to 2.5, so B is equal to 5 halves when you work it out okay so you sub that into there and you rearrange it so take away 75 half of halves on both sides so b is equal to seven, uh, uh, 40 take away 75 halves 40 same as saying 80 halves okay so rewrite that as two there but with the eight you get 75 halves sorry yeah, you get 80 halves okay so you get the answer of five halves there we go okay that's my answer here in the parallelogram look at the size of angle x and y so the opposite angles are equal so 2x plus y is equal to 103 okay and we got 79 minus x is equal to y. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm, I'm literally just going to substitute that into there. Okay, so I'm going to have 2x 
okay, plus 79 minus x, that has to equal to 103, okay, so rearrange this, 2x minus x goes to 1x, x is equal to 103, take away 79, So, 100 take away 79 is going to be 21, okay, so we'll have 3 more, so x is equal to 24, and y will equal to, well, 79 take away 24, okay, will be 55 degrees, okay, that's my answer for that one, guys. So x is 24 and y is 55, okay? Remember, the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal, okay? So this and this are equal. And conversely, this and this are equal. Okay, so opposite angles are equal. Okay, so this last question here for today's video actually says so a bit more challenging, this one. Okay, A, B and E, C are parallel. Okay, we've got some algebra in here. Okay, so we've got some X's. Okay, and it's got capital H here, so it's more for higher tier maths. Prove that A, B, D is an isosceles triangle. So A, B, D. So, yeah, it's saying that I, so either this side and this side are equal or this side and this are equal or, the, yeah, or this side and this are equal, okay? So taking my time. So this here will be 180 minus 2x, okay? Because angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees for that. Okay, so there what we call coterior. So that will equal to 180 minus x, okay, so that plus that has to equal 180, okay, if you do that, yeah, it gives you 180, this here, and the straight line, I have to add up to x, okay, now, for here, well, angles in the triangle add up to 180, so, for that to be true, that has to equal x, okay, bang, okay, so straight away, this angle and this angle are equal, so therefore this side and this side are equal, okay, so that's a start there. Okay, so this next part, okay, so angles in, in a four-sided shape add up to 360, okay, 2x, so x minus x plus x goes to 0 plus 2x, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to have 180 here as well, and I'm also going to have to have a minus 2x, okay? Because angles in a quadrilateral, okay, A, B, C, E, or A, E, C, B is a four-sided shape. A quadrilateral has to add up to 360. If I add up all these expressions, okay, and all terms together, okay, it gives me the answer of 360, now, so now I've got all these angles, okay, so, okay, so, this angle here and this angle here equals x, so that means that this side and this side are equal, okay, so A, B, yeah, A, B, D, Okay, if you think about the bigger picture, okay, so think of it like this. I've got x there. I've also got x there. Okay, and then I've got 180. Minus 2x. Okay, so this side and this side are equal, okay, so that then concludes that A, B, D must be isosceles, okay, because I've proved that A, D, okay, is the same as A, B, okay, so this is equal to this, therefore A, B, D, which is this whole triangle here, is going to be isosceles, okay, because if you think about it from the picture, those two angles are equal, 
Okay, therefore they are what we call isosceles. Okay, so I've proved it there. Okay, so hopefully it makes sense there, guys. Okay, and here is the white rose maths answer to obviously confirm my answer. So, you've got all this here. You've got angle ECD is equal to EABC. Corresponding angles are equal. Then you've got angle CED is 180 minus 2X. Angles on the straight line add up to 180. Angle CDE is 180 minus 180 minus... 2x minus x, so that simplifies just to x. Angles in this triangle, okay, CDE add up to 180. Angle CDE is also angle ADB. Therefore, angle ADB is equal to ABD, which is what I proved initially, okay, right at the end. So, triangle ABC must be isosceles, okay? That proves my answer. Right, guys, so that is the end of today's video, actually. So, sorry, yeah, it was quite a long video, actually. Hopefully, you found it useful. Okay, I, I wouldn't have done my justice otherwise, yeah, if, if it wasn't this long. Hopefully, you found it useful. Hopefully, you found it informative. Please, like I said in the beginning, actually, yeah, please do dip in and out of it as, it, uh, like, as and when you need to. Hopefully, you found it useful. If you did, please like, please comment, please share, and please subscribe, most importantly. And please share this around with anybody that is doing upcoming GCSC exams key stage three assessments okay i gcsc or even key stage two sats okay the, yeah it is also appropriate okay for that level okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one okay best wishes and best luck in your exams in your revision and i'll see you all inside the next video okay bye for now take care all the best